Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today for another pick a card video. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome in. My name is Melissa. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a pick a card for your week ahead. So in this pick a card today, uh, we're gonna get some information on what you can expect to happen this week. So what's the theme of your week? What are some challenges you may anticipate? Um, what strategy do you need to take in order to make the best of your week? Um, we'll also pull some messages on your love life so we can see if there's anything of significance that you need to know about love or relationships this week as well. Uh, before we get into the pick a card portion of the reading, I did want to also go ahead and do a week ahead message for the collective. So this is where we can kind of tap into the collective energy, see what is going to be happening for us this week, anything that we need to be looking out for as a group. Okay, so if you guys are interested in the collective reading, please go ahead and keep watching. If you prefer to skip ahead to the pick a card, to the card selection, I'll have the timestamps linked down below on where that starts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our collective reading for this week. Okay. The reason I felt guided to do this collective reading, you guys, is because I just feel like it's just always something going on. <laughs> so it's good for us to just be able to be prepared about, you know, any sort of uh, external events or any, any big changes that are going to be hitting us as a collective um, that we want to be on the lookout for, okay? So I'm going to start by pulling the overall theme for this week ahead for the collective. Let's see what comes through. Ooh, okay. So the theme of this week uh, ahead is the theme of the emperor. So you guys, uh, the first message that came through when I saw the emperor was controls. Um, I think that that is more than likely something that is going to be hitting us this week. We have three of swords here at the bottom of the deck, which is about pain, betrayal, things like that. So intuitively, I'm feeling this week that the theme is going to be around rules, regulations, having to follow directions and orders and things like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what the challenge is as it pertains to the theme for this week. I don't think that anything about that is surprising. You know, I think that we've been kind of seeing, um, rules and regulations and mandates and things like that pop up, especially, um, in the U S so it's just good that we are able to keep an eye out for that if our particular area has not been as strongly impacted. So what's the challenge this week for us as a collective? Yeah. So the, the challenge this week, you guys, is the message of temperance. So two major arcana cards here, emperor and then the temperance card. So pretty big energies that we're working through this week. And I think the challenge as it pertains to this energy of the emperor, this energy of structure and controls and rules, um, it's all about how are we going to find balance and inner peace and harmony with that. Um, for me, the energy of temperance is very much about listening to my body, listening to my intuition, um, and making sure that I am getting the appropriate amount of rest that I need or that I'm just treating myself in a way that I feel balanced and in harmony. Um, whether this has to do with like my physical health or whether this has to do with my emotional health, however it might pertain to you, I can definitely see that the challenge this week is going to be for us to be able to maintain this sense of balance, maybe even patience is a message that I'm hearing coming through as well around some of the controls that we may be experiencing in our environment. Bottom of the deck energy here with the challenge card is the message of death. This is about change. This is about an imminent change, an imminent transition coming through that we cannot necessarily prevent from happening. It's coming through whether we like it or not. So I would just get prepared for that and be thinking about how you can become a little bit more patient and bring a little bit of that Zen harmony, harmonious energy into your own environment and into your own space. Okay. I also intuitively am feeling like with this death card, it's very interesting because it's like, she, it's like she's peeking behind the curtain. It's like, it reminds me of the Wizard of Oz when they went and they like, remember how they revealed behind the curtain and this big bad Oz was just like this little man. <laughs> 
So um, intuitively, I'm kind of feeling as though with that death energy, with that change that's coming through, it's like, I'm almost wondering if the truth of where these controls are really coming from may be revealed this week. And I, I don't know that it, it's going to be as bad as we might think it is. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the strategy is this week. So our theme is the emperor. Our challenge is staying balanced with that temperance, staying patient. What's the strategy? What's the advice? What's the strategy this week for us as a collective as we move through this energy? Perfect. I love it. We have the message of the three of cups, you guys. So this is about us finding ways to stay connected, finding ways to stay connected with the people who we love and the people who genuinely bring us joy. Okay. So uh, I, I would take stock of your relationships this week and really be thinking about, you know, if your connections are the type of connections that bring you this lighthearted, fun, joyous energy, and that they can actually help you find that balance and that inner peace, or are they relationships that make it harder for you to find that balance and that inner peace? Do you feel like you can really be your authentic selves with the people that you keep in your circle? Or do you feel like stressed out by them when you're around them? These are all really valid questions that we need to be asking because the strategy, the way that we are going to be able to move through this control energy, this emperor energy, this strictness, this structure is by really relying on the support of our friends, our family, our loved ones that are in our immediate circle. And we want to infuse joy into our lives this week. So Regardless of whatever restrictions you may find put in your path this week, you're going to have to find maybe creative or innovative ways to still remain connected with people, still remain connected with others who resonate with you. Okay. The last thing that you guys want to do this week as we're moving through this energy of the emperor is to keep yourselves isolated because intuitively I'm really just feeling that this emperor energy is about us being isolated from others, cutting off that connection and that emotion that we hold with other people. Okay. So definitely going to be an interesting week ahead, you guys, for sure. Hopefully this collective message was able to help you out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to go ahead now and transition us into the pick a card portion of today's reading so that you guys can get a more up close and personal look at your specific energy for your specific week ahead. Bye. All right, you guys. So here we have the card selection so that you guys can get a more personal, in-depth look at your week ahead, okay? So we are gonna be working with four piles today. From the left here, we have some opalite for pile one. Pile two is this rose quartz. Pile three, we have some clear quartz. Pile four, we have some amethyst. So go ahead, take a couple of deep breaths. Quiet your mind, quiet your energy. Think about your week ahead and choose the card or crystal that you are feeling the most intuitively guided to choose. You can use the timestamps down below to go ahead and fast forward to your choice. All right, pile one. So if you guys chose the opalite, let's go ahead and see what you guys need to know about your week ahead. So we're gonna do this kind of similarly to how I did the collective reading. And the first card that I'm gonna pull represents the theme of your week. Okay, so for you guys, we have the Six of Swords as your theme. So what this is telling me this, this week, you guys, pile one, is that your theme this week is about moving ahead. It is about moving forward. It is about um, specifically keeping your eye and your mindset toward the future, toward positivity. Um, for some of you guys this week, you know, you could be facing some challenges. My eye is really being drawn here to this um, really kind of rocky, like turbulent water here that she's trying to row, row in. And I feel like this week, as you're navigating through these waters, it's important for you to really know that this is like the, the calm and the peace are much more abundant in your life because there's only a small amount of this choppy water that's affecting this boat. And they're still all really able to kind of stay focused on the calmer waters ahead. So I think as you guys are moving through this week, you're really being guided to keep your eye 
focused on the future and just know that if you've been going through a tough time in some aspect of your life, it's going to get better this week. Movement and positive movement forward is really being highlighted here. Maybe for a select few of you guys, you could actually be focused on like literally moving or traveling somewhere. Um, that could be something that you all are moving through as well. So the next card is going to represent the challenge. Okay, so your challenge this week is represented here by the devil. So this talks about temptations. This talks about any sort of... Um, any sort of energy or habits, like a bad habit that you guys have, or even this can represent um, that negative thought, those negative thought patterns that can sometimes have us believing things that aren't necessarily, necessarily true. Um, this can represent any of those things. Think of any sort of low vibrational thing in your life that kind of lures you in or serves as temptation or kind of lowers your vibration and brings you down. Okay. So that's going to look different for everybody on this. Um, I almost said on this call, <laughs> this is going to be different for anybody that's watching or everybody watching this reading because everybody's situation and circumstances are going to vary. Um, but you're a bit, definitely being challenged by the challenge of temptation this week, pile one. So whether this has to do with, you know, you're trying to move forward on a more healthy, you know, fitness path and you're being tempted by like sweets and treats this week or, you know, whatever the case is for you, you're definitely going to be challenged by something that wants to kind of keep its hold on you. And I feel intuitively that you guys are trying to kind of move forward, move away from that energy. Um, so your strategy that you guys would be the best uh, best guided to implement this week. This is represented here by the fool. So this is beautiful energy. So I think the message here for you, pile one, that's really important with this fool is I keep noticing how both of our theme card and our strategy card are facing away from the devil. So I think it's important for you guys to continue to move forward, continue to think about the future, the long-term uh, ramifications of any actions that you might take. Um, I'm being guided here to look at this castle that's kind of off in the distance here. So the fool is very much about embarking on a new journey, something that's going to bring us to like maybe our ultimate level of achievement, because it's something that we feel really authentic about. It's something we feel really excited about, even if we're new and inexperienced. So I'm really um, being guided to advise you guys to continue to keep your eye on the long-term prize that you are trying to move toward for your future. Make sure that you are moving in authenticity, that you are being true to yourselves this week. And don't be afraid to make mistakes, right? If you have a little slip up, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, the full energy is very beginner. It's very novice energy, and we don't know all the answers right away. So you guys just want to be gentle with yourselves, be kind to yourselves. If you slip up, it's okay. Just keep moving forward. Keep, keep your eye on that castle in the sky. Okay. Let's see what else. So we have a cute little fortune cookie card for you today. And here we have the message of burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional, and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Nice. So I wonder if healthy lifestyle is something um, important for you guys this week. Maybe some of you really are on a new like fitness journey or a health journey of some sort. Um, it's kind of funny how I said that and then that came through in this card. It's kind of cool coincidence. Um, but either way, whatever you guys are working on this week, whether this is about like a fitness journey or a healthy lifestyle journey or some other type of work that you guys are working on, some other type of move in your life or journey that you're moving toward, the message of burnout is coming through really strong. Maybe some of you guys, you know, the devil astrologically is associated with the sign of Capricorn and Capricorns are very hard working energy. They are very, you know, they're actually, um, you know, very, um, you know, controlling sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to say it, but that's the word that came to mind. Like they are just about their business. They're very structured. You know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, the devil can represent overworking ourselves in a way as well to the point where it's lowering our vibration and we're not creating that time and that space to do the things that we love, that we feel really authentic to do. So you guys do have a message here around burnout. So try to find a balance this week between working really hard and moving forward toward your goals 
and uh, making sure that you're taking the time to rest as well, okay? We'll pop that up there for right now. Actually, no, we'll pop it down here. All right, let's see what else comes through for you guys this week. Ooh, so we have the message of victory. I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. I love it. So you guys are definitely going to feel like you are victorious this week. And I definitely think that this is coming through with the way that I keep seeing, you know, these two cards looking more toward the future, moving away from the temptation, moving away from those rocky waters. You guys are definitely going to feel this sense of winning this week. Maybe some of you guys are actually going to be winning something this week, getting some sort of a promotion or some sort of recognition coming out on top in some matter is definitely being highlighted for you this week, pile one, which is great. So even though you're being tempted by something and there is a challenge being presented here with the devil you're gonna end up coming out on top the last mes message that I have for you pile one is about your love life and relationships so let's see what you guys need to know this week this is such a beautiful card I love this deck this says be present or be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible I love this message pile one and I think that it really um, coincides very well with how you guys are really moving forward in your lives this week and really moving toward something special that you have your eye on in the future, keeping your eye focused on the long-term goal that you have in mind that you're working on. So when it comes to love and relationships, the message is actually quite similar for you this week. Whatever you guys are going through in your relationships, whether they're romantic, friendship, or otherwise, you're really being guided this week to be present, be in the moment with these relationships and know that uh, whatever you guys are calling in, whatever you are manifesting, you want to continue to keep your eye on that long-term prize, quote unquote, because when you're keeping yourself kind of um, in the vibration of this is what I'm going to have, this is what I will have in the future, you're living like you have that now then you're going to be able to even better manifest that for the future. So just as you're dating this week, as you're connecting with love interests, friends, et cetera, whatever pertains to you, whatever message pertains to you, just remember to like keep your eye on the future. Be present, enjoy what's going on now, but remember what you want for the long term. okay? So pile one, I'm gonna go ahead and close out your reading. These are all the messages that are coming through for you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Hi there, pile two. So if you guys chose this little piece of rose quartz, let's go ahead and see what you guys need to know about your week ahead. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the theme of your week. So this week, the theme of your week is represented here by the 10 of coins or the 10 of pentacles, depending on the deck you like to use. So I'm getting a strong message here that this week for you guys is around either family and taking care of your family responsibilities, or this can, for some of you guys, be just about your kind of like long-term financial future. Could be a combination of both of those things as well. Just depends on the person. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody who views this pile, right? Because it's a general reading. So I'm definitely seeing, you know, it's very interesting. It's like we have this little doggy and he's like almost like supervising. <laughs> I feel like he's like supervising all of these children that are around him. And some of them look like they're being kind of bad, don't they? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But then there's somebody here that's kind of got his back and just like making sure that he's comfortable and, and cared for. So there could be something here for a few of you guys this week around supervising others. So this can be about like literal like children, family members, things like that. But it can also be talking just about like if some of you guys are in a leadership uh, role at work, a management role, something like that, this can be about you kind of managing the office space, the workspace, the employees, things like that is a message that I'm getting. So let's see what your challenge is this week, pile two. Interesting. So the challenge here is the king of wands. Okay, so the king of wands is a challenge is kind of interesting, you guys. A um, couple messages coming through here. 
One, I can see with the King of Wands, uh, one challenge that I see coming through is the challenge of confidence, okay? So King of Wands is an energy that is very confident in themselves. Um, they really take charge as a leader. They keep things under control. They expect respect. <laughs> they command respect. Um, but they're a very passionate, strong force to be reckoned with. Very confident, very much able to take the lead on something. You know, so this could be a challenge for you. If you guys have a lot of priorities that you're trying to manage this week, a lot of people that you're trying to kind of uh, take care of or be responsible for, there could be a challenge here of being able to step up as a leader, being um, confident and really in your power here. Another message coming through pile two, just keeping it really real with you, King of Wands can sometimes represent ego and kind of being a little bit too egoic with the people in your life. Um, you know, just kind of like that big man on campus attitude. I don't know what, like why that just came through to me, but just like that person that acts like they have it all together and they're just kind of forceful and just kind of egoic in the way that they're, that they're handling people around them. So take whatever message resonates the most with you. I think you guys will know in your heart, which one is pertaining to you. Leave behind anything that doesn't, but it's definitely something here around leadership, whether you guys are struggling with confidence or being too overly confident in the way that you're handling this 10 of coins energy. So let's see our strategy for this week, pile two. Ooh, okay, so we have the strategy of the world. This is beautiful energy. So, okay, I feel like for you guys, pile two, um, the world is a lot of times about kind of closing a chapter out, starting something new. Um, so I feel like you guys are just kind of being guided to leave behind something this week or make sure that you are tying up any loose ends this week so that you can close something out and move on to the next. So like this kind of makes a lot of sense. If you guys are like working on something family wise um, or having to manage a lot of responsibilities this week, that just seems to be the message that's coming through the most here, to be honest with you. Um, it's like this is about making sure that you're tying up any loose ends um, so that you can fully close out and complete whatever task it is that you're doing, okay? One other thing I wanted to mention about this King of Wands, you guys, this may not necessarily be you and your energy that's posing a challenge. This could be the energy of somebody else that's posing a challenge here. So that message of somebody who's being like kind of egoic or too controlling or something like that, um, or even this could just be like a manager or a boss or something for some of you too. This could be another person with those characteristics that's posing itself as a challenge. So like maybe if you guys have family responsibilities that you're trying to handle this week, this could be like your boss. <laughs> it's like a, posing a challenge to you. So you're going to have to tie up any loose ends at work so that you can better handle your responsibilities at home. Um, but this could also be like someone in your family too, that's posing a challenge for you that has those qualities and characteristics. So yeah. So anyway, the message of completion is coming through for you this week, pile two. So you want to make sure that you're closing out, tying up any loose ends, wrapping something up so that you're better able to move on to the next thing that you need to do. Maybe even like for some of you, um, getting some support and partnership could help you as well, because in this world, this is like a couple that's here together that um, it's really beautiful actually. So I feel like for some of you, you may be um, guided to solicit some help or some feedback, something that's gonna help you to um, find that sense of completion in whatever is relevant to you this week, okay? So next we're gonna pull a little fortune cookie card. So this week for you, pile two, we have the message of reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end, Others could blossom and become stronger. Very interesting. Let's move this up a little smidge. So for some of you guys, if this King of Wands is another person in your life and you're really trying to evaluate whether this person fits into your long-term life, your long-term legacy, this can really just be a message around closing out that chapter, not being afraid to release and let go of that so that other relationships in your life can flourish and blossom. Now, this could also just be another energy that's totally unrelated to the theme of your week this week that we talked about pile two. Um, so you guys are definitely being guarded, guided regardless to really reflect on the relationships in your life this week and make sure that you're tapping into and investing the time and energy into the people who really resonate with you, um, who really kind of 
have all of the qualities and characteristics that you desire either in like a romantic partnership, a friendship, whatever the case is. Let's see what else, what other messages you guys have. Ooh, so we have the message of grace. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me to set me free. Beautiful message. So pile two, you guys are just being guided to give yourself some grace this week. <laughs> be gentle with yourselves. Um, and I think be gentle with other people in your life who could be posing a challenge. Give them some grace as well. I think a lot of us right now are moving through really challenging times. You know what I mean? Um, and I think a lot of people are maybe just in their way, they're trying to figure things out in their own way, just the way we're trying to figure things out in our own way. And so sometimes that can cause some negative characteristics to come out. And it's, it's just in response to like the environment, right? It doesn't mean that we just excuse bad behavior from ourselves or others, but either way, this is a great time this week to practice grace, just being gentle, forgiving, um, being a little bit understanding of what another person or a friendship in your life could be going through. Um, and give grace to yourself for any tough decisions or tough calls that you're having to make this week as well. I definitely feel there is something around relationships here for you this week, pile two, because in this message of grace, we've got these three women here. There's a lot of people happening for you this week. A lot of uh, messages around like family members, friendships, relationships, things like that. So the final message we have is in regards to your love life pile two. So let's see what comes through. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. This is beautiful energy. So acts of service, acts of kindness is really being highlighted here for you guys this week. So I think if you're feeling kind of challenged by, you know, your ego or your confidence this week, or if you've got somebody in your life that's like, being that egoic person and kind of driving you nuts, right? And you're kind of reflecting like, oh, I can't stand this person. They're getting on my nerves, right? Just kill them with kindness. And if that message doesn't resonate, then simply for you guys this week, pile two, the, the message around love and relationships is just around being kind. Um, doesn't have to be anything super grand, right? But just simply being nice to somebody can change their whole day and change their whole mood. Um, you never know what somebody else might be going through that could make them act in a negative way. So I think the more you can be kind of just understanding of that, give them grace for this week, <laughs> and just you yourself embody the, the way that you would want to be treated, I think that is going to make your week and your relationships this week flow a little bit more smoothly, okay? So those are all the messages coming through for you, Pile 2. So I'm going to go ahead and close your reading out here. Um, please leave me a comment down below and let me know how this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Hi there, Pile 3. So if y'all chose the clear quartz, let's go ahead and see what you guys need to know about your week ahead this week. So we're going to start off with the theme for your week ahead, Pile 3. Ooh, and we have the energy of the moon. I love this. Okay, so this week, you guys, with the moon energy, I feel very strongly that intuition, using your intuition to guide you is going to be extremely, extremely important. So this week, following your gut instincts, making sure that you're listening to your inner voice, your inner knowing, um, this is going to be something that you are tuning into as you navigate the entire week this week. There could be a situation in your life that you're moving through that feels a bit uncertain. The path ahead may not seem clear, but I feel like if you guys are able to follow and listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, this, this fear, we have a full moon here. So I feel like this is something that's coming to a close this week for you, or it's something that is, um, coming to a head this week. Like I feel the answers are kind of on the horizon here, but you're gonna have to lean into your intu intuition because the path ahead isn't necessarily being shown to you right away, okay? Let's see what the challenge is for you this week, pile two. Okay, the challenge, the Knight of Swords. So taking action, <laughs> moving forward. Um, the, this is definitely something that I could see posing a challenge if 
the path ahead is feeling unclear. And perhaps because of that lack of clarity, we're feeling a little bit anxious or nervous or unsure of what to do. So it's like, maybe you guys know that you've got to be making some sort of moves this week, but because you're not sure about where you're supposed to be going or what you're supposed to be doing, the challenge here is the movement itself. It's like, taking action, making a change, maybe even communicating and having a conversation because the Knight of Swords is about communication. Um, the other challenge that I could see here for some of you is around just combativeness too, because the Knight of Swords can also just be like somebody who wants to debate you, you know? So maybe you guys find yourselves in that type of scenario this week with somebody who wants to kind of just like go back and forth with you and get into like a really heated debate. And you're like, I don't really know a lot about this topic. I just know that it feels weird, right? <laughs> That's just a message I'm getting for a select few of you. But intuitively, I feel like this is more about the movement and like where you're supposed to go this week. So your strategy, pile three, we have the 10 of swords. Wow, this is a really intense card. I have to look at it closer, sorry. Whew. I feel like you guys this week need to work on letting something go. Also, this night could be a person that's posing a challenge in your life too. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Knight of Swords, um, air signs, Ten of Swords, air signs as well, Gemini, I think specifically. So you guys are, you know, you guys are really being guided to let something go this week. Um, Ten of Swords is about experiencing something that leaves you feeling stabbed in the back, betrayed, hurt, it can almost even sometimes be like a kind of this shocking realization that something was not what you thought it was before. A person was not what you thought they were before, right? And so once we've kind of been through this energy, it's, it's like really important. It's like the rock bottom energy. So it's like, you can only go up from here. And I feel like that's the strategy you guys need to be taking this week. It's like, I can only, I can only move forward. I can only go up from here. Once I've hit this rock bottom, um, this could also be about you guys needing to put something to end this week, you know, so whatever you guys are moving through, that's making you feel a little bit uncertain or unstable. Maybe it has to do with this, this night. Maybe this is a person of significance here. Um, you guys could be also receiving this message around putting something to an end, letting something go. That's no longer serving you. Like put in a, put a fork in it. It's done. <laughs> it's coming to my mind. Let's look at your fortune cookie message. So we have the message of future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. So that's actually really positive. And I think it kind of makes sense here with this with this 10. This is 10s are about closing out a cycle. Full moons are about closing out a cycle as well. So even though I'm not necessarily seeing like you guys hosting a tr like a traveler or traveling necessarily, um, super specifically, the message of future feels really strong and I feel like it correlates very well with your, um, your theme and your strategy for the week. Tens and full moons are about closing out a chapter so we can move on to the next, level ourselves up, move on to the next phase of our lives. So this message is just kind of solidifying that for me, for you guys. Thinking about the future is going to be really important this week. And maybe for some of you, you will have um, that more specific message happening about traveling or hosting someone or having fun this week as well, which is always positive. Ooh, okay, so we have the message of divine guidance. Whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. Love this, pile three. So this divine guidance message really... Um, really just reaffirms your theme for this week, which is the theme of the moon and really trusting in your intuition. So just know that whatever your gut is telling you, whatever your gut instincts are telling you is it's not steering you wrong. Um, this means that you guys are very psychic. You're very intuitive. You know exactly deep down inside what it is that you need to do, but you've got to just trust it and listening for those inner knowing, listening for that inner knowing, listening for those messages, and then making your moves based off of that, um, is really what you're being guided to do this week. Okay. You're going to figure the way out because I feel like you guys have a very, very strong intuition with those messages there. Our final message is about love and relationships. So you guys have the message of choose love. Sorry, pile three, my camera just like cut out on my phone for some reason. So your love message this week is choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love, beautiful energy. So when you guys are dealing with your relationships this week, you're really being guided to make any 
big decisions that you have to make out of the kindness of your heart, out of knowing what is best for you and what is best for any people or um, persons that you are dealing with this week. I wonder if this moon energy could have to do with a relationship for some of you guys. Um, and just maybe not knowing what direction to go with the connection or what choice you need to make. Maybe you know that there's something that needs to come to an end here or something that has already come to an end. And you know you've got to figure out what your next move is. And this message is really about you guys making decisions based off of loving, compassionate energy, okay? So if somebody stabbed you in the back or if somebody's been using harsh language with you or something like that, that doesn't mean that you guys have to embody that energy in return. You wanna kind of rise above that and, um, sorry, I'm distracted. You, you guys are really being guided to kind of rise above that, raise your vibration because that's only gonna serve you better in the long run. So it looks like you guys have a very interesting week ahead this week, pile three. Uh, I think those are all the messages that are coming through for you. So I am going to go ahead and close out your reading right now. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this message resonates with you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi there, pile four. So if you guys chose this little purple crystal, let's go ahead and see what you guys need to know about your week ahead. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with your, um, sorry, with your theme for this week, pile four. Ooh, and the theme for this week is the three of wands. This is beautiful energy. So I feel like this week for you guys is about planning for your future, um, growth, expansion, really deciding what the next steps are and actually taking, making moves this week as well. I love in this depiction of the three of wands, how she's kind of climbing the ladder. So maybe for some of you guys, you're working on like, elevating your skills so that you can gain a promotion or you're just you're seeking some sort of next move a next big step um, intuitively i feel for a lot of you this could have to do with career but this could have to do with really anything in your life really the energy energy this week the theme for you this week is about planning ahead moving forward thinking about your future so let's look at the challenge <laughs> All right, so the challenge this week is the Seven of Cups. That makes a lot of sense. Um, seven of Cups, I feel as a distraction is about, as a challenge is about distraction, okay? So when you guys are, of course, like in this space where you're trying to like expand and move toward your future, it can definitely be very easy sometimes to be caught up in a lot of fun or a lot of just general distraction. So I think this week you guys are finding that there could be a lot of really fun, I'm so sorry, you guys. Speaking of distractions, I literally just had the UPS guy knock on my door and it scared the crap out of me, so I had to stop the reading. Um, okay, so Seven of Cups, as we were saying, this is about distractions, okay? So when you guys are trying to like plan ahead or, or make your next moves, um, it can sometimes be very easy to be caught up by like wanting to do things that are fun, right? Like, oh, I wanna go out with my friends, I wanna indulge in this, I wanna do that, right? So I think a challenge for you this week is just gonna be around staying focused and kind of keeping your eye on the prize. Maybe for some of you guys this week too, the, the challenge of the Seven of Cups may not necessarily be about distractions, but for a lot of you guys, you may have like multiple things that you're finding an interest in. So as you're trying to explain, expand and, and climb this ladder, you know, you're really being guided to sort of hone in on like, one or two things that you can really grow with versus putting all of your eggs into all of these cups. Does that make sense? So staying a bit more targeted and focused is going to be really important for you this week. The strategy for you this week, pile four, is the two of coins, two of pentacles. So the strategy for this is just about kind of um, maintaining your focus on balance okay so as you're climbing the ladder as you're trying to kind of like fine-tune your energy and see like what um what um what your next moves should be <laughs> sorry distractions um you you're being really guided to make sure that you're staying in balance and in harmony with yourself you know, two of coins or two of pentacles can be about just like having a lot of things going on that you're trying to maintain a balance, a healthy balance in your life. And I feel like that's actually what's happening here because you can see they have the little, they have like a little baby here, a little baby here. This almost looks like a little bear. 
And it's like they're trying to carry the weight of both of these babies <laughs> as they're walking along. So balance and, and harmony are two messages that are coming through really strong for you, Pile 4. All right, so then we have reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. I love this pile four. That makes a lot of sense with the theme of your week being the three of wands. Because again, this is all about expansion. This is about growing, thinking big picture. And so I think with that challenge of the seven of cups, as you're reinventing yourself, this it's gonna be really important, like I said, to make sure that you're getting kind of specific around like what it is that you're trying to do because that's going to make it a lot easier for you to see success or reach success. Justice. Okay, so another message of balance coming through. I think, you know, balance is important, making sure that you're able to juggle all the priorities that you have while still staying focused on the task at hand. But I also think, you know, justice is around karma. You reap what you sow. So just know that this week, pile four, the effort and energy that you're putting into your goals are going to come back to you tenfold. So if you're able to cut through the distractions and be focused and intentional in your moves, you know, you're going to see a great return on, an, on your investment for that. Whereas if you get caught up in this and you give in to this, you're going to see the return on your investment for that as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. The final message I have for you, pile four, is about your love life for this week. So we have the message of appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. This is a, such a beautiful card. Beautiful message, pile four. So you guys are just being really guided to appreciate whatever situation, challenge, person, whatever it is that you are encountering this week as it pertains to your love life. Um, maybe some of you guys have recently overcome a challenge or gone through something in your love life that maybe feels a little bit hurtful or just something came to a close is what I'm feeling intuitively here. So you guys are just being really guided to sort of like reflect on that situation. You can see she's kind of staring into this little like crystal ball type of vibe. Um, and try to find the opportunity for growth here in whatever this situation was. Because every relationship that we have is the opportunity for us to learn a really important lesson about ourselves. And it's an important for us, it's important for us to be able to learn how to grow and better ourselves for the next relationship, right? So I think you guys are just being guided to find the gratitude in your relationships this this week. Um, whether this is a current relationship you're in um, or any challenges that you've experienced in the past, you want to be kind of on the lookout for the ways in which you are able to grow, the lessons in which you are able to learn from these connections. That's also kind of interesting that we have the justice energy here too, because I think of like karmic lessons, karmic relationships, karmic contracts that, you know, we are reincarnated to fulfill in this life to evolve ourselves on a spiritual level. So that could be, there could be a karmic relationship that you guys are learning from this week or reflecting on this week as you're growing and expanding your energy. But I love how we have this message of um, opportunities to grow with relationships and you guys are taking an opportunity to grow just as your theme in general this week. So I think the message that you have for your love life really ties in with the rest of your week. Really everything this week for you pile four is about growth, expansion, climbing that ladder to success. So you guys are just being guided to make sure that you're keeping a balance, a healthy balance this week, not allowing distractions to take you off track. All right. So those are all of the messages that are coming through for you, pile four. So I'm going to go ahead and close the reading out here. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know how these messages resonated for you. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please be sure to do so. Um, any and all support, I greatly, greatly appreciate. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.